What's up guys? In today's video, I'll be talking about the stay quirky kajal called Badass Black. Now this is a product that again I have been recently introduced. I have used Stay Quirky's uh, liquid lipsticks and I love them. I hope you guys have seen my review before. Now I'll be trying out their kajal. Now this is what the packaging looks like. The packaging is in a retractable form so you really don't have to worry about wasting a lot of product uh, in the process of sharpening it. I'm not a person who generally wears a lot of kajal but I like to wear it occasionally and if you are a college going girl or a girl who generally wears a lot of kajal on a regular basis I think this is an absolutely amazing option because it's super affordable it retails for 125 rupees but right now uh, at purple.com there's a 21% off which means you're practically getting it for only 99 rupees go grab them now now I'm going to swatch the kajal in my hand. I'm not really good with swatches but I'm going to try my best. So as you can see it is extremely pigmented, very richly pigmented and it is also creamy and smooth. So you don't really have to uh, tug in your eye uh, while putting this on. You just put it and it locks in its place. Another great thing about this is that it has an all day lasting ability. From my personal experience, it has lasted up to 12 hours, which I think is amazing. Now, as you can see that I uh, swatched it some time back and I'm going to rub it off now. I'm doing it uh, quite hard, but you can see it's not coming off, which means that it is extremely smudge proof. Now, when I generally wear kajal and put on makeup and, and I'm done with it and when I spray some, uh, you know, a mist or a setting spray, my kajal generally tends to bleed. But that doesn't happen with this Stay Quirky Kajal. So, we're just going to test with the mist once. So, I have my Colourpop face mist and I'm just going to spray it and I'm going to try to wipe it off and you can see that it's still not coming off and it's properly intact. So, you can understand how water resistant and smudge proof this kajal is. This kajal is perfect for those who have oily lids because even I have oily lids and when I put kajal on my upper lash line it tends to transfer up which I hate and because it ruins your uh, you know uh, eyeshadow look but that doesn't happen with this one. Now if you want to remove uh, the uh, kajal you just have to use an oil based makeup remover or any normal makeup remover and you're good to go. If you guys are looking for an affordable, smudge proof and water resistant kajal, I'm sure you should go for it. Coming to the application, as I already said, I'm not really a kajal wearing person. I just like to make a wing liner or something like that. I'm not someone who wears coal under the eyes, but if you want to do that, uh, I'm sure uh, it's pretty simple, pretty basic putting coal under your eyes. Make sure that you draw it close to your waterline and do not take it too much to your inner corner because when you take it to your inner corner, you tend to tear up a little bit. That's not just with this kajal, with any kajal that you wear. Uh, you might have that problem because people have sensitive eyes so just put it on the outer side and don't take it too much into the inner corners and uh, make sure that you do not draw it below your waterline you should always draw it on your waterline and you can also tight line your eyes which is uh, which are things that I don't generally do but yeah for those who like wearing kajal on a daily basis these are the things that you can do alright with this we come to an end of this video if you guys want to buy the kajal all the links will be given in the description box as well I really really personally recommend you guys to try this out because it's absolutely amazing. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Bye bye. We're up, uh, but that doesn't. Uh, this video we're going to be talking about. I'm going. Ah.